Hey, hey, what's up guys? Welcome to tutorial number four where we're gonna move a rigid body with uh, some force. We press press a key of our choice. It's pretty easy. So let's flip flap over to Unity, man. So um, go to our move that ace, that funky ace script. And what we need to do first is check if we're pushing a key. And a key could be any key we want. But in this instance, <clears throat> excuse. In this instance, we're going to use, um, I believe, the A and D keys. Is that right? I don't know. We'll find out. I'm doing this tutorial a little bit different this time. I actually just did the screen recording first, and then I added the voice narration. Um, just to see how it comes out. So let me know what you think. Anyways, uh, we're going to add some force to Ridge's body using a variable called horizontal force and we're going to times that by time by delta time and then let's see what the mysterious man does um that you see that it takes three arguments three floats x y and z we don't have our public variable yet which is a float so just copy and paste it over to the top make a new variable we'll say 10 f right now which is probably very minimal not enough let's we'll see what happens and so we have X, Y, and Z, 0, 0, Y, and Z out because we're not going to use that. And you can see that the other argument takes is force mode. And we're going to use force mode dot. You can see the options we have. Velocity change, which is a favorite. An all-time favorite of mine. And um, copy and paste that over. Well, I guess not. We'll do the copy and paste over later. I think I'm just going to check to see if it works. You should always check to see if it works. Of course, that can slow you down. Um, pushing, I know this is very minimal. He's moving a little bit, but not very much. So you got to play with the float in the inspector and mess around with that a little bit. So go ahead and punch in your favorite number and see what happens. Yes, that's much better. This is so much better. Well done. Very good. Look at you, champ. I know this was going the wrong way. D needs to go right, not A. Of course, you can do that. Go ahead and do it. So D seems working a lot better. Looks pretty good. Keep on cranking it up. Put full steam on it. Nan. Go Nan all the way, man. Anyway, so that seems to work pretty good. Now we need to get the left movement. So just copy and paste that chunk of code. Change the D to an alpha. And see what happens. And da, da, da. Whoa, sick. Our game is going to be better than anything ever seen on the planet. Um, you can see it right there. I just added negative to horizontal uh, force. I think it's a variable. And all it does is, of course, it just switches. If it was right, it's going to go left. It's gonna, if it was going up, it's going to go down. It's the opposite. That's what negative is, at least in this instance. Maybe it's always that. I don't know. I'm not that guy. Anyway, it works. It freaking works, dude. You are your own. <laughs> you are amazing. <clears throat> so it looks like he's going pretty slow. So let's crank that up a bit. And all I'm doing here is playing the variables forward, forward. Let's go faster. Let's go slower. Let's make some magic work in the, the Unity game engine that we love so much and hug every day. Caress it. Look at that. Now it's going to get really sloppy right here. So just so we can see we have some motion and there's actually objects on the ground. Um, just highlight, hide them, highlight them, control D, which duplicates them. And that's a really easy, fast way to get a bunch of garbage on your screen, clutter your beautiful little thing don't do that don't ever do that that's the wrong way to do it this is strictly for entertainment purposes right here I mean I have nothing better to do except highlight things and screw it up whatever cherries on top maybe I'll get it a third time third times always a charm and if we got one what's it called Anyway, I was just kind of moving around. That guy, they don't even reach his bodies on those cubes. So it's like hitting a brick wall, basically, when you're traveling about mm, 
three or four miles an hour from what it looks like. I have no idea what it is. And if you do all the math, who knows? It's probably like 5,000 light years a second. Uh, so there you go. You go a little bit faster. You can see that it's working now. Boom. And you can see the collisions detected in the console. Very handsome indeed. Good job. Moving up in the world. Um, here, I'm just gonna find, show you a quick way to add rigid bodies. You can do the add component that way, or you can go up to the uh, menu, add rigid body to all those at the same time. Instead of doing it one at a time, you can see now when you smack one, it goes flying, boom. Look at the physics. Unity physics, it's finest. Sexy machine. So, um, yeah, it works. You're moving left and right using a rigid body, using a an add force, and um, good job. Well done. I mean, it's that easy. No, it's not. It's never that easy. <laughs> good grief, Charlie Brown. Anyways, that's it. Go ahead and play with the uh, variables. Exposed to the world. The fine game hamburger, Citrus 4, and uh, thanks for watching. Please smash the thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time.